So today we do have a quiz. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get connected, and I'm also going to wait for more people to show up because, you know, it's rainy. And I like to give people the chance to get nice and situated before we, we do a quiz. I also like to review what the quiz is going to be over, which is that I want to, is that today I'm going to, is going to be a quiz on strings with the, uh, specifically we're going to go over the, um, the, whatchamacallit, the join and split operators, because those are very, very apparent. Um, then once that's done, we are going to work on something related to the current homework, the, the hurricane tracker, right? So the output of the hurricane tracker should be something similar to the video that's embedded there, right? You should get your turtle to move in that specific way. Um, hopefully the, the, your TAs were able to help today, uh, get you started. So today what I'm going to work on is something that's similar, that should use similar skills. However, if you try to use what I write today and basically directly copy-paste it in, it's going to go poorly because the file format that we're going to be using is different, right? So the file format we're going to be using is different. And also longitude and latitude don't necessarily, aren't necessarily the same as X, Y. One of the issues I ran into is I, I mix, mixed up what longitude and latitude were when I was coding it. Right? Turns out that they're, you know, so be sure to look up what latitude is and what longitude is compared to your x and y coordinates because that was a 30 minute mistake for me um, before I thought maybe I should try flipping them. All right? So today we're going to go back to like, I don't know, what like kindergarten or something. And we're going to play connect the dots uh, using our turtles. All right? Um, I have really an idea for that because that seems very, very similar to um, what we want to do with our turtle, right? So here I go. Um, so this is a series of coordinates on an XY coordinate plane. I've went ahead and I've uploaded it to uh, my GitHub uh, site, but I'll go ahead and dump it into the files on, um, you, know, you know what? I don't know why the files aren't there, but I'll go ahead and, um, yeah, so upload, uh, I'll go ahead and, and this is called z.txt for reasons that will hopefully one day become clear. Uh, I thought I saved them. Where did I save them? Oh, wait, okay. Um, teaching, oh, it's in teaching, so that should, I should be in classroom. Right, ITP. All right, mm. and I might need to format this file a bit more. So let's go. Actually, before I upload it, let's go ahead and see it. So first off, this is a bunch of x y coordinates, and it's a bit annoying to parse. But let me just go ahead and tell you what this is. This essentially is the commands uh, to draw the connect the dots of one part of the figure, right? With, with connect the dots, it's like one big uh, thing you're drawing with one thing connected to another. So that limits you in what you can draw. So this is essentially one series of connect the dots. So and this is another series of connect the dots. And this is another one. And then this is another one. So each line is its own, essentially, we'd want to create its own turtle to do its own drawing, essentially. Okay? Um, now, because of the way it works, let's see. Um, let's see. Actually, this would work. We just have to figure out how the best way to clean this up, right? Um, OK. Yeah, we just need to figure out the best way to clean this up. All right. Yeah. Like, why should n? I've got a big I've got a big idea of like maybe the cleanest so I've uploaded it. Let's go ahead and make the files public on for you guys so you guys can get it from from a here. You can also find it on the GitHub page. Yeah, and I'm definitely not just gonna change it anymore. I'm just gonna rely on Python to do all the dirty work of formatting the file for me. Okay. So sections, navigation, drag this to make it public now. Great. So now you guys should be able to see the public, see the files as soon as I hit save. There's nothing really interesting I keep there other than the homework assignments. So 
there you go. That should be public now, so you can go ahead and download it. Um, yeah, there's no need for me. Okay, so, yep, up, 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 up. there we go. Yeah, and I totally just grabbed it from, uh, from basically a, a math worksheet page where they, rent, where they created a PDF over here. Another thing is that, like, it's on a 1 to 20 coordinate plane, and our turtle's a bit bigger than 1 to 20, so we'll probably have to blow up the picture a bit by, like, multiplying the, the dimensions by 10. But again, I'm going to let Python do the, all the dirty work rather than us. So, all right, so let's go ahead and start. So, essentially, we want to play Connect the Dots. For those of you unfamiliar with that, uh, Connect the Dots is... Uh, fairly easy to do. Connect the dots. It actually took me a depressingly long amount of time to remember what it's called, like an entire minute. Um, all right, this is how connect the dot works, right? You start with from one and you simply draw a line from one to two, then from two to three, then from three to four, then four to five, right? Now, there's only, there's a limit, and then eventually, like, something will be drawn. I'm not uh, sure what it actually draws there. But the idea here is that, okay, this seems like something we can make a turtle do. And so what each line is, is that basically is a connect the dot series for the turtle, right? So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's a series of nine dots for the turtle connect. And then here's a series of four dots for the, for the turtle to connect. So basically what I'm saying is that our turtle needs to start over, essentially. Um, so they're going to start from this position and go to the other ones. So first thing first, let's go ahead and read the file so that our turtle can start working with it. Okay, so let's go ahead and say save. Um, and let's go ahead and give it a file name. Let's call it, uh, why don't we call it connect the dots? Because, you know, connect the dots dot py. And then I think I'll give the quiz at near the end of the class so, you know, so that you guys will have plenty of time to review because I'm going to be using splitting a whole lot as well as possibly joining. All right, so first, because we're doing turtles, let's go ahead and say import a turtle. All right, and then if name, so if underscore, underscore name equal, equals uh, main. We're going to just go ahead and say turtle dot done over here so that it stops. All right, but otherwise, I'm just going to do this as like one file, one thing to do. So I suppose I don't need the if name is equal to equal main, but I'm just trying to get into the practice of doing it. Okay, so uh, first things first, let's open the file. So um, call it dots uh, or let's call it maybe lines is equal to open uh, data, no, so it's open, and then we're going to open it z.txt, and we want to open it in read mode, right? And let's just go ahead and uh, store, yeah, let's just go ahead and just store it in array. So read lines, or store it in a list. And now let's print what we've got, print lines. Right, it comes up with the turtles because we did it. So here, right, it's a string. The first line's one string that ends with a new line. The second line's a string that ends with a new line, and so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and go iterate through the lines because we're gonna be processing those lines one at a time. So uh, for line in line, or let's go ahead and say for dots in line, right? Because it's e because each of these lines is a dot uh, is a series of dots, so for dots and lines, print what's stored in dots. Right, and we've got it separated by new lines because you know um, because it because each string ends with a new line. And again, this is coming from a website which is basically designed to teach children about the x, y coordinates. So they're just drawing figures using x, y, you know, using the x, y coordinates. So it's going to be a very basic shape that we're going to be drawing. All right, so um, let's go ahead and just do, say, dots 
is equal to dots dot trim, right? We want to, or no, not trim, strip, right? And if you remember, and if everybody remembers now, that will just simply make sure that that'll remove the beginning and trailing end space. So let's take a look. It's a bunch of xy coordinates, right? So it's a bunch of xy pairs. This is a one point. This is another point. This is another point, and so on and so forth. So each point is separated by a comma, but we can't just simply say split by comma. I mean, we could, but it would be difficult because then we'd have x, y, x, y, x, y, and it would be a bit difficult to, um, to remember what that's on. Um, right? So we have a separate, so, ev so we have two things being separated here, which is annoying. But I was kind of thinking about this as I was coming here, and I was thinking, okay, how do I get around this? And it occurred to me, basically, as I was sitting down here, wait a second, every single comma that separation, that's got separation has an open has a closed parentheses and a comma. So if I maybe split, so let's go ahead and see if, what happens if I split that way. So I say dots is equal to dots dot split, not by comma. Well, let's go ahead and see what happens if I split by comma first, just in case you weren't following. If I split by comma, I get open parenthesis 10, close parenthesis 15, open parenthesis 8, 15 close parenthesis, 7, you know, 14. So notice that basically that it's got, it's, it's, kind, it's just every number is now separated and it's kind of hard to tell what goes with what. We can do a bit more separation as we go on. So, um, so instead, if I do this, then at least the pairs are still together, right? So here's one pair that's still together. Here's another pair that's still together. Here's another pair that's still together. Um, each of those pairs, unfortunately, has like, we're kind of, you know, it's still got that uh, open parentheses. There's a couple ways we can get rid of that, though. Oh, and the last pair has a closed parentheses as well. So let's go ahead and see what we can do with that. Uh, let's go ahead and say, so there's a nice method. Dots is equal to dots dot remove all. Let's see. Let's see if dots dot remove. Let's go ahead and see if string operations. So string, common string operations, Python. Um, remove. Nope. Let's go ahead and just see string methods over here. Remove. Nope. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Find is alpha is nu is numeric is replace lower r strip. R index, R justify, split, split lines, swap cases, upper. So what can I do to remove stuff like that? Any ideas? There is a is there a remove all is there a remove all in Python? Ah, replace, replace all. That will do it. Dot replace let's see if let's see is it replace all or is it let's go ahead and see replace all let's see if it's one or two just gotta remember how to spell so let's go ahead and replace all commas actually that won't work because it's a list ah that's why I'm having some issues there so split it so let's go ahead. Ah, ah, ha, ha, ha. Okay, I see where I'm going with this now. Okay, so we've got a string. So part of, I was trying to remove all stuff, but I was removing stuff in a list. So let's go ahead, and what we're going to do is that we need to now go through each individual item in the list. So for dot in dots, let's go ahead and see what we're going to do. Print dot. Okay, we'll do that instead of printing dots, right? And now let's see what we have. So we've got, at least we've got kind of a series of points here, right? Notice that we've got a nested for loop and it kind of is natural.
to look at right over here. For every sequence of, so basically four lines in line, right, for all the dots, a, ser a series of dots, we're going to clean it up, and then for each individual dot in that line, right? It's like saying we're going to go through the lines and we're going to look at e each word in the line, right? So it's kind of a, just a naturally way, a natural nested for loop there. So um, dot dot replace. Let's go ahead and say replace string. Yeah, replace. That's it. Replace. We want to replace all those. Let's just test this out. Let's replace commas with uh, periods. See if that works. Oh, looks like that worked perfectly well. So we can use that to remove stuff by saying let's replace all of the open parentheses um, with a period, right? But more importantly, let's replace all the uh, open parentheses with nothing. So I'm actually going to split this up and say for each coordinate, let's say dot is equal to dot dot replace all the open parentheses with nothing, print out the dot. And notice that now we've got 10 comma 5, right? 8 comma 15, 7 comma 14, right? So I'm just basically trying to get this into a format that's easier to process one at a time. Right? I could clean it up in the text file. Right? It's normally a lot easier to work with CSVs, but you know, sometimes you just got to work with what you've got. So um, some of the file, some of the stuff also has a close parenthesis. So I'll just also have this, but for close parentheses now. And now all everything is just simply x comma y. Is that just one set that you have there? No, this is a. Uh, this is just, this is all the lines. So what I can do is that I can say uh, something. Was that ending when you got to a whole new line? Huh? Was that ending when you still had it? Yeah. So, but what I can do to show that I'm between sets is I can do this. Okay. Right? And now, here's the first set of num here's the first line of numbers, here's the second line of numbers, here's the third line of numbers. And what did that was me putting in this print line. So let's go ahead and just get, review what we got. Basically, so now we say let's open up this file, read up all, uh, read one line of these at a time. And what we're going to do is that we're going to split it into a list of stuff that split over the close parentheses and the comma. That removes anything that's a se any sequence that's a close parentheses and a comma, and lets us know basically that's the series we're working with. So I'll just show you there. I'm going to remove this basically as soon as as soon as I do this. Right? That got us to this point. And then we go through each of these and say, remove the open parentheses and the uh, and any closed parentheses we see. Okay. So now we've got that almost. So now let's go ahead and say, eh. So now we can we're going to do one more thing. Uh, chords coordinates are equal to dot dot split on the comma again. Why are we doing this? Um, well, it's because it's still a string and we're st and it's got two numbers to work with. So it now instead of printing chords, I'm going to go ahead and sorry, printing dot, I'm going to print chords. Right? And so now instead of being and so now that split it up each of those dots into a list of their own. Right, it's all about just manipulating the data and making it fit what you want it to do instead of basically trying to parse. It's sometimes easier to just basically change the data and make it fit the way you want it to work rather than you know, trying to get it to work with you. So I can say the x-coordinate is equal to coords, the first coordinate turned into an integer. And now the y is equal to int chords. And so now, if I print x comma y, we're ready to start drawing because now we have an x coordinate and a y coordinate that are both integers. Right? So now we're ready to draw. So what I need to do 
is that I'm going to say right over here for each line, I'm going to create a new turtle. Uh, Bob is equal to um, turtle dot turtle. And then what I have to do is that I have to say, um, and then there's going to be a number of things we're going to have to figure out how to do with this. But the first thing is, is that we want him to go to a specific xy coordinate. So that's fairly straightforward. We say Bob dot set, um, set, let's see. Let's go ahead and look up the turtle commands. Turtle graphics, right? I think it's set x or set, set position, but again, ah, set x, set y. Or, or go to actually seems like even a better one. Go to seems really good over here. Go to. So give it a, a 2D coordinate and it will go there. So bob.go to x, y. Now let's see what happens. Oh, well, all right, that was kind of small. Right, because again, the PDF that this was working on was like from one to 20, and we've got basically a much bigger plane than that. So let's go ahead and try saying X is maybe a bit bigger. Let's go ahead and multiply this by 10, and by 10 again, right, just to pump it up. Oh, bit tasty. So let's go ahead and clean this up a bit. All right, so it turns out that if uh, that this is a bunch of connect the dots, that if we follow the directions, uh, it ends up drawing a piece of pizza. But there's some mistakes that we're making still. We're we're not following all the rules yet, right? Notice that there's a lot of lines going through this, but. It's a pizza nonetheless. So let's go ahead and figure out how we can tackle some of these things. So let's, I'm just trying to get it to a good scale, right? Because I'm blowing this up to be 25 times its original size. There we go. That seems a bit more manageable. Okay. So first off, I have a lot of turtles here, right? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight turtles. Why? Because for each line, I'm creating a new turtle, right? If instead I created one turtle over here, let's see what happens. It's going to actually subtly change the drawing. Right? So I went and drew this first, and then I drew the, uh, one, of the then I drew one of the pepperoni pieces, and then I drew another pepperoni piece. But you can see where basically he decided to go over here to draw, draw another pepperoni piece. Now, why is that? Well. Because in Connect the Dots, really, you're never supposed to lift your pencil. But for, I mentioned like for each of these individual lines, we're, we really want to lift our pencil, which is fairly straightforward. So let's go ahead and say, at the beginning of a line, we're going to say Bob dot uh, pen up. Okay. And then we'll do Bob dot pen down uh, after we go to our first point. So now we have one turtle, and let's see, goes to his first one up. Pens was still up. Oh, I did pen up there, so pen down. All right, let's go ahead and see this. So, so he draws his first pepperoni slice. He does that. Oh, there we go. So how did this work precisely? Well, we read these things and we created our turtle over here, right? And then we simply went through the line and stripped it out so that it became one point at a time. I don't know why that just clean. Um, right? We we formatted this so that it would become one point at a, so we'd be dealing with one point at a time. And then what we said is that when we're traveling to the uh, first point, when we travel to the, before we go to the first point, we lift the pen, 
Before we travel to the first point in the series, we're going to lift our pen. And then we're going to go to that first point in the series, right? Go to x, y. So that's a very useful command for, for our turtle to know. Especially, okay, go to a specific point. And then we're going to say, put your pen down after we've gone to the first point. Then we just keep going through all the dots and going there. So let's go ahead and say, let's go ahead and slow this down a bit. Bob.speed is equal to, say, uh, let's go ahead and say four for right now. So here he goes to the first point. That's still a bit way too fast. So let's go ahead and say one. So first thing is Bob has to read the series of points that says go over here, read, the, read all the directions that say create the first pepperoni slice. Then he puts his pen up, goes over there, and draws this area. Then he goes over to here and draws that curve. Now he drew over to here. Then he draws this curve. And right, whenever he slides without drawing anything, that's where he can't, he's going to the first point of a new line. And so he just reads all the x, y coordinates. Do we have any questions about this so far? Do we want to take a look at maybe doing some other ones? Yes? Um, so if, let's just say you have a fourth with a decimal point. Since you can't use int for that because it won't read it since it's not base time, what do you do for that? So we'll go to not work for, for decimal points? Let's see, um, go to pair of numbers. Um, I mean, let's see, I think it should work for a float. Let's go ahead and say 25.5, right? Or t let's go with 23.5 for these, right? This should multiply it by a float. Let's see if that crashes it. Because it should work. Okay, come on, uh, I said run. There we go. It doesn't seem to have any objections to doing it. That's weird because on the assignment, it's not taking in uh, with the negative with the decimal point. So, ah, well, on your assignment, are you using int or are you using float? Um, well, I tried using int and then I tried using float, and float is just not making anything clear. Let's see, float. Um, it might be that you're messing up your lot for your assignment. Check if you're messing up your latitude and longitude. That's what I, happens to me whenever I get no, nothing to appear. Like, do you have them mixed up? A latitude and longitude aren't x, y. They are, in fact, so let's go ahead and take a look at that just to address your question. Right, latitude and longitude, okay? Um, let's just take a look at latitude. Is the um, position on the Earth that goes north-south? In other words, that's the Y. Yeah. And then longitude would be the X. And especially, and your file is formatted latitude longitude. Mm -hmm. So you want to. So the first thing you want would pro is should be the Y coordinate. And then the second thing would be the x coordinate, as opposed to what I did over here. Okay. So check if that's going to do that. Otherwise, I'll have to take a further look at your codes. Yeah, I'll, I'll just come to you. So, um, so this reveals a whole lot of stuff similar to the homework you're doing, um, which is going, you know, to a position, drawing something, drawing some, you know, drawing something else. So let's go ahead and see if this works, though, for stuff that isn't pizza, right? So let's go ahead and say uh, connect. And I found this by going connect the dots. No, not Connecticut lottery. Connect the dots uh, x, y coordinates. And then, you know, that gave me a whole lot of stuff monkeying around here. Ah, worksheet works. Let's go ahead and see what this has. Oh, that seems good. Hey, look, that looks familiar. So let's see, look at a kitty cat. So um, then it, what it did for me is it just simply creates a worksheet, which is pretty cool. And gave me this thing and said, here's the lines. And so I copy pasted this in. And so let's go ahead and see what happens when we do this now. 
So first off, again, I did do a bit of formatting before we came in because that line colon was kind of annoying. So, um, and then also when I copy paste from a PDF, it's always weird. So first thing I did was copy this out. So let's go ahead and see. So I'm going to do, do this on a different file. But uh, otherwise, give me one second to format this in the position we were using because I don't really like doing things as one line. If I did it like that also, I'd miss out on the opportunity to do a nested for loop or, or at least an intuitive one. Four, three. Oh, that must be the perimeter for the cat. That must be the outline. Uh, two, and then line one. All right, so let's go ahead and say, uh, let's solve, um, let's save this one. At, I'm going to save this one as kitty, right? And let's go ahead and run. And now all I have to do to run this one instead of the pizza is to change this to kitty.txt. So I'm going to go ahead and run it. And now it just goes ahead and starts drawing the tail, the body of the cat, whiskers, toes, nose. Here we go. And we've drawn a cat that's sorely lacking in eyes. So, but point being is that, you know, it's, you know, so this, so but basically parsing the file is all, a lot of times, so a lot of work with just working with data is processing the file, right? We had to do very, very, very little work with, um, with, process, with, uh, with the actual turtle stuff. It was just simply, hey, move the pen up occasionally. Oh, otherwise, um, Otherwise, it was mainly working with split to split things apart. All right. So I think that's um, I think that's enough. So what we're going to do is that I want to go ahead and uh, work on the quiz. Um, disadvantage, though, I totally forgot what the password is to the quiz, so I'm going to have to go and look it up. So, you know, I know I'm totally on top of the ball. Um, but it turns out when you're like making five quizzes, it's easy to forget the individual passwords for one. So quizzes. All right. And then we're going to start learning about um, about st uh, the next uh, series of things after this, which also has to deal with uh, strings. So the string quiz password is 555, so go ahead and start it. And then I'll get ready on the uh, on the um, to do to do other things.